Good morning, bro. This video is going to be for young men who don't specifically know what they want to become, but they know that they don't want to have a boss or have someone who's like always telling them what to do. And the title of this video is probably something along the lines of become a self-directed man. And this video is going to be quite a quite a conceptual one. And I'm not going to give you like any specific action steps to take, but this video is equally as important as my other videos because hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to draw your own action steps from this video that you can start taking if you're the kind of guy who knows that he wants to be his own boss and knows that he wants to like carve out his own path so if that sounds like the type of guy that you are then make sure you stick around and make sure you press subscribe because this is the type of guy that I am and I am literally in the process of becoming my own my own boss my an entrepreneur my own like self-directed man so obviously why not subscribe if that's what you're into as well because hopefully you'll be able to learn some lessons from me as I am in the process myself like I just said before I get into the actual like conceptual topic of becoming a self-directed man I want to give a few like parameters as in if you fit inside these parameters this video will be for you because I don't want to waste your time I don't want you to waste my time I don't want you to press subscribe unless you're like yeah that's exactly what I want so let me give a few like these are a few parameters for you and like what you are currently in right now because if you fit into these parameters then this video and my channel in general will really be a good one for you so Let's say, for example, you're a young man and you are working a job, a nine to five office job, or even not even necessarily a nine to five office job, but a nine to five or like, you know, you're working as an employee for someone else. <clears throat> but something about that just, just doesn't sit right with you. Something about taking orders from someone like higher up on a on a ladder or like in an authoritarian position like they're they have authority over you doesn't really sit well with you you might be the kind of guy who's say in school or in college and you don't really feel like doing whatever the lecturer or the teacher tells you what to do all the time like yeah of course now we're we're intelligent young men we know that obviously there are people who we can use as mentors which is kind of what i'm hoping to be for you i'm hoping to come across as like a masculine leadership mentor in a way where i'm like i'm sharing what i'm learning along my journey so that you can pick up on you know lessons that i've learned or mistakes that i've made but at the same time i have had say you know lecturers or teachers or even like even parents and even you know older cousins and everything like that who have tried to tell me like what to do and oh no rather than making a youtube channel you should make a new Instagram account and start posting it on there because that's what everyone is doing nowadays and people who just give you advice all the time but they aren't necessarily in the place that you want to be in so it's like why would you take advice from them do you know what I mean or they're not like working towards what you are working towards and what you want to work towards so why would you take advice from them but for some reason it's like ingrained into society or inbuilt into society that because someone might be older and more successful at something than you you're like oh yeah no I, I guess I should probably take their advice because they're older and they know stuff about other things even though they might have no idea what like you know what you're trying to achieve and how how you want to achieve it and so on and so forth and I'll give you the example from my life back in 2023 I was running a series on my Instagram channel be our Instagram page called Tig's Travels and that was like my own creation I had my own plan for the year and everything like that and basically I was going to go to 52 new locations around Ireland like once once a week for the whole year straight and bring a new person with me and I had fucking everyone around me telling me oh no rather than doing 90 second reels you should do 45 second reels and oh why don't you bring groups of people instead of just one person with you and why don't you go to like counties that are further away from you you're going to the, the your home county too much or you're going to this county too much and you should go and you should rather than go into a forest this week you should go to like the seaside the beach and whatever this week and I, I had all these like external voices telling me what I should do and I'm like none of you know and none of you are in the place that I want to go to 
And that's what I mean when I say you must become a self-directed man if you fit inside these parameters. Like, if you're watching this, if you've even watched this far into the video, you probably are the type of man that I'm referring to right now, where it's like, you, it just doesn't fully sit well with you to take orders and to take, you know, like take direction from other people because you probably are the type of man who has this like, almost like an internal compass, almost like an internal map where you're like, I could do that and that could be good, but for some reason I'm being drawn this way and to do this thing. And that has been me throughout my entire life, bro. And honestly, like if you're watching this video right now and you're like, shit, yeah, the, what this guy is saying makes sense and it, it resonates with me and yeah, I can relate to that bro, please promise me you'll press subscribe because I talk about this in almost every kind of video where I'm like, I'm essentially giving you a blueprint or guidelines to becoming self-directed yourself. And it's, it's funny because some person will comment and they'll say, oh, but like the whole point of being self-directed would be to not follow you and not take advice from you because you don't know what I want to achieve. And while that is true, like I agree with that. You shouldn't take every piece of advice that I give you. However, there is like a thing that people overlook and you see it so much in the self-improvement sphere where people overlook having a mentor. And that's what I want to be for young men who fit inside these parameters. The parameters that I described at the start of this video where it's like, you want to do your own thing. You don't want to just be, you know, some marketing executive for some big company. And it's like, you're just literally another face in the crowd. Like me personally, bro, I want to be a fucking founder CEO of some big massive ridiculous company sell it for billions and all this shit like bro that's what I want to be genuinely you have no fucking like you don't even understand how much I want that and that's why I'm here on YouTube bro nobody tells me what I should post about on YouTube fucking nobody yes yeah, sure I'll ask my subscribers like oh is there is there a specific topic you want me to talk about of course and like I'll do what I can to help my subscribers as fucking always bro but the thing about it is, if someone tells me to make a video like talking about, you know, uh, something I don't have an interest in, so something like like sports, like football or some shit like that, bro, I'm not going to make a video talking about football just because some subscriber told me to. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's funny because like I've, I've witnessed YouTubers in the past. Like I, I used to watch YouTube a lot. I don't really watch it anymore because... It's a, it's a kind of like an identity or mindset thing. But I used to watch YouTubers in the past where they would change what they do because they get like pressure from people in the comments, like subscribers being like, oh no, I, lo I miss the old Kanye. Like, you know, that kind of shit where it's like, bro, like, okay, go listen to the old Kanye then or go watch the old Tyke. Like, if you don't like the videos that I post now, but you like my old videos, bro, go watch my old videos. Or if you don't like what I'm talking about now and you want me to talk about something different, yeah, sure, drop a comment and I'll consider it. But bro, don't have this expectation of me to fucking please you and do what you want like no I'm doing what I want on here and people who resonate with it and people who relate to it they will follow and they will subscribe and they will drop comments and they'll like and they'll share and all that good stuff because probably they see me as like a you know like a masculine mentor or like someone who's like offering real tough love and real kind of like yeah fucking go after it bro like get it like fucking forget about this waiting around and forget about this or just take a day off shit bro fuck that shit man taking days off is like that is probably one of the worst things you can do honest to god and that's so counter to the the modern day advice where it's like oh no but mental health mental health blah 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 all this kind of shit and yeah mental health is so important and it's so like it's such a big thing that people overlook however perfecting your mental health when you have no money, no resources, nothing to your name, you're still going to be depressed. You're still going to have like shit moods. You're still going to have all the mental health issues if you're broke as fuck, bro. And that it, people will probably disagree with that in the comments, bro. It's facts. It is facts. Like you could meet the most like the guy with the most perfect mental health or the girl with the most perfect mental health. But if they're not able to pay their fucking bills, if they're not able to pay for the roof above their heads, bro. Don't you think that's going to make them depressed and anxious and all these negative things that people harp on about? So yes, focus on your mental health. Do you do your own like 
whatever you do for your mental health shit. But also, bro, like, it's not all about mental health. The same way it's not all about money and the same way it's not all about girls and the same way it's not all about Lambos and all this shit, bro. It's it's a balance of everything. However, like, you have to prioritize certain things. And to me, right now, what the priority is, is being a self-directed man. It is deciding what my priorities are. And that sounds like so basic or like you know it sounds like such a like well duh, no shit kind of thing but people don't fully grasp what i mean when i say that is because like i have decided i literally so last week or no only just a few days ago i went away with one of my friends um to the the main main city in dublin and you know we stayed there in a hotel overnight and had it had a good time spent fucking way too much money just had a had a, a bit of a hedonistic two days however I decided before I even went on that trip that that was my last like leisure trip or my last like holiday or whatever like that. That was my my last time spending money this year on a like, you know, like a, a holiday or a leisure trip or whatever like that. From now on, bro, I'm only spending money on the fucking necessities and I'm only like investing money. I'm not spending money on a single thing that I do not need. And that is because I'm a self-directed man. Like, People around me have told me, literally my own family members, bro, my own family members have told me, and this isn't disrespect to them, like I fucking love them, but they have told me like, no, you're, you're working too hard. Like you need to, you know, take a break, go on holidays and, you know, just have a, have a week off and, you know, you're working so hard. Like, because I work 40 hour weeks in the job that pays my bills. And I also put in about probably close to another 40 hours on YouTube, not necessarily recording and posting videos, but like, you know, planning videos and like thinking about thumbnails and titles and like all this, all this extra shit that comes with YouTube. Cause people think it's just, you know, press record, edit and post. Bro, it's so much more than that. I probably put more like focused work into YouTube than I put into the, the job that actually pays my bills. And that's because I'm a self-directed man. Like nobody is telling me to do YouTube. Li there is literally not a single person on this planet saying to me, oh, make sure you record your YouTube video today because bro, I don't let them because I already have it done. Even if you tried to tell me, oh yeah, make sure you record your YouTube video and don't forget about YouTube and post it, post your video today. Bro, I already have it done or I'm already in the process of doing it. And that is what I mean when I say, being a self-directed man what is your self-direction what are you aiming towards what is your like target what are you like pulling back the bow and arrow and aiming towards because nobody if it's if it's something that's like a big personal thing to you like youtube and gaining subscribers and you know gaining a followers gaining followers and like you know building an audience and you know being, bringing value for people on YouTube. That's a huge thing for me. So what is your huge thing that you're aiming towards? That's kind of like, it's not an action set, but it's something to think about from this video. And the truth of it is, bro, some people will be watching this video and they'll be like, oh, I don't really know. Like I have a, a general inkling. But like, if you've watched this far into the video, I know for a fact that you want to be a self-directed man. You might necessarily be, you might not necessarily be one yet. You might be still taking orders and still being told what to do all the time. And of course, like, as I said, I work a job and I obviously have managers in my job and they'll, they tell me what to do. And you know, sometimes I do have to take orders and I have to do what I have to do. But that is the point of it is I will only do what I have to do. I will never do like, you know, do all this extra shit because just because I'm told to, like, I, I know in my own, within my own, like, internal understanding of my, of myself, what is best to do. And you probably do deep down as well, especially if you've watched this far into the video, you're probably the kind of guy who's like, yeah, I might be working this job or I might be taking this college class or whatever like that. And the lecturer might be telling me, oh, you should do this 10 pages of recommended reading, but you might be actually like, you know what? I actually want and know that I should do these 30 pages, or it could be a case where it's like, they told me to do 10 pages of this, like, you know, required reading, but actually I only need to read five pages because the other five pages aren't going to be on the test or whatever like that. And bro, like 
this you might think that this is like just some kind of fuzzy you know like airy fairy conceptual shit but bro i honestly think that this mindset is the difference between men who actually live authentically and live their own per like carry out their own purpose like their own unique purpose and the guys like the difference between the guys who carry out their own purpose and also and the other guys who just kind of you know they take on the purpose of others and they you know like you know the kind of guy i'm talking about who he works for a company and he's he'll probably argue and be like no 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 this is my purpose this is part of my purpose but it's actually not really it might be if you're really lucky but the chances are bro the purpose you're carrying out by working for some other company which is essentially working for some other man or woman that set up that company you're carrying out their purpose bro and that might be really tough to hear because you might be you might be like 35 years old and 15 years in the same job and if that is you bro like I don't worry like I understand how you feel because I've worked in multiple retail jobs for about seven years now nearly probably coming up on eight years and I've only realized recently that like I have been essentially allowing another man well it's a company but like another man who set up the company profit of my hard work and like I, I am the type of man who puts in hard work into the job I work that, you know, pays my bills and whatever like that. I am a diligent hard worker. I always have been. And it just doesn't sit right with me that another man is profiting off my hard work. I'm like, why am I allowing that to happen? Why am I allowing another man who set up this company to take the profits of my hard work and of all like every employee's hard work? Why am I allowing that to happen? You know, does that make sense? I feel like that will really, really resonate with some people. And if it does, drop a comment so that I know I know I have some some men who want to be self-directed and they they understand what I mean when I say that because it's so it's almost demonized nowadays to be an entrepreneur. It's almost demonized to like, you know, want to help people and want to sell your own thing and want to sell like say online courses and programs like that. It's so demonized. I literally watched a no, this is embarrassing to admit, but I actually did watch a YouTube short this morning of this like this guy who looked he actually looked homeless he had like long scraggly hair a dirty mustache he was fat and all this and he was like running through some city and he was essentially mocking people like me and people like you know who sell online courses and all this kind of thing saying like oh uh, i i fuck around and i still you know i drink and i party and i do drugs and i'm still you know a good guy and i still like I don't buy courses, but I still, I'm still out here running and all this. And it's like, but bro, the thing about it is you can be self-directed and not take any advice, but that is how you stay stuck. So what I'm saying in this video is be, be a self-directed man, but also find a mentor, bro. Also have someone that you can idolize and look up to and learn from. That's the most important thing is to have someone that you are learning from. And I, my fucking, one of my like, one of the peak experience one of the peak experiences that i have had in life is being a mentor for younger men like for not even necessarily younger men bro not even necessarily younger men it's sometimes been older men where like i have been able to positively influence and impact them in a way that makes them like either wake up or you know, realize that they're doing well or realize that they're doing not so well and, you know, push them to be more and to become greater and to become masters and whatever like that. Bro, that for me is like, that is the most amazing feeling. And you mightn't have ever experienced that yet, but bro, if you have experienced the feeling of being like a, a strong mentor for another man, bro, that like gives you the most unbelievable sense of pride and purpose in yourself. It's crazy. But getting back to the point of this video, which is to become a self-directed man. So why would you become a self-directed man? Why wouldn't you just stay, you know, a regular man who works a nine to five and works for some company and whatever like that? And that is because the reason why I say not to like be the guy who just takes orders and has a manager or a boss or whatever like that. Like, yes, you have to do that up until a certain point for sure to just to be able to pay the bills and to keep a roof over your head. But why do you not want to stay like that? It's because 
that just leads you down a path where you're so far away from your unique purpose as a man. You are so far away from achieving the goals that you specifically set for yourself and you want to achieve. Now, you could say, you could argue and say like, but I work a nine to five and I make, I don't know, like 50 grand a year. And my my biggest goal at the moment is to have 200 grand saved up in my bank account. And how I'm going to reach that goal is by working for this company. And in two years time or four years time or 10 years time, I'm going to have that 200 grand saved up and then I'm going to be satisfied. And bro, if that's you, I'm so happy for you. Like credit to you for knowing what your goal is. However, that is a very like one dimensional goal to just have like 200 grand saved up or uh, that's an arbitrary number. It could be as it could be as much or as little as you want, but that's a very one dimensional goal where it's like, yeah, great. You've had 200 grand saved up, but also like, have you enjoyed working in that company you've worked for? Is your manager, like, do you have a good relationship with your manager? Do you have a good relationship with your coworkers and in, and your employees? Do you feel like you're still learning? Do you feel like you're challenging yourself? Do you feel like you're getting out of your comfort zone? Do you feel like you're growing as a person? Now, maybe if you're extremely lucky, you can answer yes to all of that those questions. But I somehow fucking doubt it because the corporate world isn't set set up in that way. And yes, I can say that because I've worked in the fucking corporate world. I've worked two jobs in the corporate world. And I can tell you for a fact that they, the, the corporate world isn't set up in a way where you're always learning and you're always growing and you're always being pushed out of your comfort zone because it just, it doesn't work that way. Un, like the only way that you can be constantly challenging yourself, constantly growing, constantly learning, all that good stuff that like self-improvement preaches about is to be a self-directed man because nobody, if you were working this job where you're working nine to five in an office, you'll clock in nine o'clock and you clock out five o'clock. And by the time you're clocked out at five o'clock, yes, you might have the gym and you might be, you know, your, your healthy habits and all that kind of thing. But after being in an office all day, sitting down nine to five, not making any energy, you're probably not going to feel like doing much at the gym or you, yes you might even do you, know, you might do a good session at the gym but you're not going to feel like you know reading a book when you come home or writing if you're a right if you want to do writing part-time or writing full-time and you're you know you're working on your goals if you're in this like office kind of sitting down all day now this is I'm kind of getting into like biology here but like and it's it's also a law of physics which I want I think my really like valuable video that I mentioned on my community post yesterday is going to be it's going to come next week when I'm on holidays from work I think it's going to be based on a physics law a physics law which is objects that are in motion tend to stay in motion and that's what I'm saying when I'm talking about the office job is that you're not really in motion when you're sitting down at a desk all day you're not like you can argue that but if you're sitting down for like eight hours or you know you might get seven hours and an hour break whatever you're not really in motion so therefore you're not going to feel like doing a whole lot when you get home from that office job but and this is the reason why I work in retail is because I'm constantly on my feet so I always feel motivated to make a YouTube video go to the gym and do some sort of you know learning like do some sort of learning when I come home from work every single fucking day bro that's my three things that I focus on at the minute is making a YouTube video exercise and learning that's all I'm focused on at the minute but I would not be able to focus on those three things if I was sitting down at an office job all day but because I work in retail I'm constantly on the go all day long so and people will think like oh but would you not be more tired if you're on your feet all day that's where that's like a hidden that's like my hidden secret that I'd love to share with the world is that objects that objects that are in motion tend to stay in motion it's crazy bro that's just like a hidden little secret little tip that I can give you right now but anyways I'm going away from the topic of the video even though it's it's an important tangent to make, but to get back to the core premise of this video is, I want you to figure out how are you gonna start becoming more self-directed? What is something that you can work on today where you're like, yes, I have all these external influences telling me what to do, but I know that I wanna do this in a certain way. Or you have, you might be a writer, you might be a, a YouTuber, you might be a 
you know, a self-improvement guy. You might be any, whatever you are, bro. If it's like a, something that you're doing yourself for yourself, how can you carve out a path in that thing where it's like, no, this is your unique thing. Like my YouTube channel, as I've already said in this video, is completely unique to me. Nobody is making YouTube videos like I do. Not a single person. Nobody, you can never tell me that there's someone who's made the exact same video that I've made because it doesn't, it doesn't exist because everything I talk about is my own experience. It is my own like authentic touch to it. And yeah, sure. I might copy some like title or I might copy some general topic but everything that I post on YouTube is my own authentic self so if you enjoy that kind of content where it's you know it's a young guy who's at, essentially at his peak I'm not at my peak yet but I'm on the way up to my fucking peak bro like fit in my uh, physical from a physical standpoint I'm at like very close to my peak right now bro I'm not gonna flex for the camera because I'm not like you know I'm not on some not on some weird shit, but bro, I'm on my fucking, I'm getting close to my peak right now. It's crazy. Um, but in terms of like other things, yeah, sure. I'm far away from my monetary peak, like very far away from my monetary peak. I'm very far away from my like YouTube video quality peak. Like I literally record these videos on my fucking iPhone and I edit them on CapCut, as I said in a recent video. However, I'm still gaining subscribers, bro. And you have to ask yourself the question, why is this guy who is oftentimes very arrogant, very grating, very like, I'm a very assertive, very like the type of guy who will piss you off, but I'm still gaining subscribers. And the question that you need to be asking is, okay, what does this guy know that I don't? Because like, if you're a YouTuber who's watching me, you might be questioned, like, why the fuck does this guy gain subscribers? And I'll tell you exactly why, bro. I will tell you the secret right now. Uh, there's actually two secrets. And once again, I'm going so far away from the topic of the video, but I'm actually not. It's actually like, you know, it's all related and it's all interlinked. The secret of why I gain YouTube subscribers is, is because I'm authentic and because I'm polarizing. I'm not going to tell you any more than that because that they're two videos in and of themselves. But if you want, if you want to, if you're a YouTuber who's watching my videos and you're like, how is this gay guy gaining 204 subscribers in just over three months? That's what you need to learn about. But getting back to the point, become a self-directed man or you will essentially always take orders from people. Like it has to be a, and that's what I mean when I just said, you know what I just said about being polarizing? It can't be a balance where it's like, oh yeah, I take orders sometimes and then other times I'm self-directed because all of it is about an identity. Like your identity must be one or the other. It can't be a balance of the two or else you'll always just be like average because average is the balance of the two. But if you want to be your own fucking man, your own like self-directed man like your own you have your own path your own purpose your own experience your own unique thing that you're offering to the world you have to be fully self-directed so yeah i want you to drop a comment below in this video saying how you think you should become more self-directed what is the thing in which you can start using utilizing your own unique experience in utilizing like your own personal touch or your own like internal flair what is the thing that you can start working on today to become more self-directed bro i promise you if you can learn about this mindset this kind of self-directed like self-made mindset and identity you there is nothing that can stop you bro i fully believe that there is nothing on this planet apart from death that could stop me from achieving everything I want to achieve. And that's not because people tell me that. That's because I believe that myself. That is my own self-direction speaking. Is I believe that, bro. 
So if you if you've watched this far in the video and you're like, yeah, this guy is fucking cool. He's giving good advice, and I you you might even feel like motivated after this video. Drop like drop a fucking like, bro. What what like why would you not want this to reach more young men? Like why would you not want not want it to be a case where you're like, yeah, you look around at the men around you and you're like, yeah, they watch Tig. They're all fucking on their unique purpose as well. Because that's what I want, bro. I want people to subscribe to me and to like learn about what I talk about so that I can look around and be like, yeah, these guys are all fucking, they're on, they know the same shit I know. They're on the same path that I'm on or they're on, they're on their version of my path. You know what I mean? And press subscribe because why would you not want someone like, first of all, being essentially like a mentor or offering advice or offering, you know, a way forward, a path forward that's not just like telling you do exactly what I do. I'm telling you do what you want to do, but like, learn about how to do what you want to do from me because that is something that I have been fucking blessed with is knowing how to do what I want to do and learning how to filter out all this fucking bullshit advice my I strongly believe that my advice is one of the only good advice you can get online now you can argue that in the comments help me drive up the algorithm help other young men see this go ahead but I truly believe that bro so press subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and Press like if you've enjoyed this video. Drop a comment giving your opinion on it. I'm, I'm always open to like other people's opinions and hearing your story. I want to hear because the truth of it is, is that's what life is about. Life is about sharing your experiences and understanding other people's point of view and figuring out a way forward. And hopefully we can do that together, bro. But I better leave it there because that is all that I've got for today. So until next time, bro.